Colbert and I'm here to discuss my PhD thesis which is entitled Human Intelligence and Relational Skills Training. I'm going to break this down into three P's. We have a problem, we have a premise and we have a pursuit. So a problem, intelligence cannot be improved. First off, what is intelligence? Most of us have a little bit of it, most of us would like a little bit more of it. And while the scientific community is yet to reach consensus over what intelligence constitutes, most definitions would refer to it as our ability to learn, to problem solve, to overcome obstacles with taking rational thought, to reason and to adapt effectively to our environment. The way that we measure intelligence is through the use of IQ tests. And these tests will give us an IQ score, which will give us your level of intellectual performance in comparison to other people in your age group. Now, having a higher IQ is not the be all end all for success in life. But that being said, it is an important predictor of a number of socially desirable outcomes. For example, people with higher IQs tend to do better in school, they reach higher levels of education, they tend to get better jobs and they earn more money, they live longer lives, they live happier lives, and they commit lower levels of crime. So simply put, it is better to have a higher IQ rather than a lower IQ. But that's where we run into our problem. Now, I can give you a list of citations, the length of my arm, <laughs> that will tell you that IQ is fixed, and unchangeable, and there's nothing you can do about it. If you have an average IQ at the age of 20, you will have an average IQ at the age of 80. Decades of research prove it, and we just have to accept it. You cannot get better at this. But that leads us on to our premise. Our premise is relational skills underlie intelligence. Relational skills are the focus of my research, and they refer to our ability to understand the relationships between stimuli in our environment. Now, uh, that would refer to things like being able to understand concepts such as sameness, oppositeness, more than, less than, and before and after. Now, I can give you <laughs> a list of citations the length of my other arm, which will tell you that relational skills are so important to in intellectual performance that they may possibly underlie intelligence and be the building blocks of intelligence. That leads us on to our pursuit. Relational skills, unlike intelligence, are inherently flexible and they're easily trained. We have very well-established means of training these skills. So the pursuit is, if relational skills underlie intelligence and if these are easily trained, well then can we do the impossible? Can we train these skills and increase intelligence as a result? And so far the answer is yes, we have been able to do that. Um, we have now been transforming IQ from the glass ceiling of an individual's uh, potential into the platform from which their future intellectual growth can be launched. Now, I would like to be able to give you a list of citations the length of my arm to prove this point, but this research is still in its early days. That's the first problem. The second problem is that I've run out of arms. So thank you very much.